Konnichiwa, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, Musashi X, and today on Trials, the show where I'm showcasing various demos of upcoming games. And today's episode is Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. I am playing the demo on the PlayStation 4. I just downloaded it um, last night, actually. And, yeah, um... Yeah, in true Marvel um, fashion, of course, they're going to have um, um, epic music. The kind that you would hear in like um, in, like movies like the Avengers and whatnot. And yeah, here I am right now in the um, options menu. And by the way, this is post-commentary since, um, since I don't have the necessary equipment yet to do some live commentary when recording this footage from the Elgato. So I'm just going to do some post commentary as we um as we're going along this video. I'm just adjusting some of the settings um in the options menu. And yeah. Granted there's just only one player for now as it's focusing on parts of the story mode. Yeah, I'm just adjusting the um the HUD positions on um on the health, the HP gauge, the super gauge, and whatnot, or hyper combo gauge, as as I should um, say. But yeah, now we're gonna enter story mode. We are born of two universes, each of them imperfect, each afflicted with the cancer of organic life. From their ruins, a new universe shall be forged in the fire of the stones of reality and space. All life remade in our image, in steel, free from the sins of the flesh. We are Ultron Sigma. We are your God. Captain America, our teams are in position. The enemy's forces are massing at the palace gates. Then let's not keep them waiting. Heroes, move out! So yeah, we're going to start off with Captain America and Mega Man X. Um, X um, is the one fighter that a lot of people have been requesting to show up in a Marvel vs. Capcom game, and, well, here he is at last. So let's see how he plays out. I'll lend you my shield anytime. With us together, this will be a sin. Ready. Fight. Okay, I know it sounds like a um an early nitpick, but uh why does X sound like that? I mean, X sounded better in in Mega Man X8 and Maverick Hunter X. And yeah, just like that, I'm already launching my first um Hyper combo. Uh, but then I tag to X. Oh goodness. X really sounds weird in this game. But I will say one thing about X though. Um, his in-game model. At least they made him shiny. But yeah, so far we took care of one Ultron drone, and now um, it's up to X to take down the last one. Up, oh, charge shot! Yeah, not the kind of charge shot I was hoping for. I was hoping for something like a long beam or whatever. Marvel, shall we? 
So on to the next fight. We're going to be controlling Chun-Li and Captain Marvel. And by Captain Marvel, I meant the Marvel Universe and not Shazam, whose name is also Captain Marvel. Just a little FYI. So yeah, the um, the overall controls in this game um, it focuses on the four button scheme in which in which uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 was using at the time, and there's also um, a button for for tagging out, in which the PS4's case is actually um, R1, while while the L1 button. Um, it uses the um, Infinity Stone, and and I think in story mode um, they're only assigned a specific um, Infinity Stone. Oh, they brought back um, Chun Li's um, a super from Tatsunoko vs. Capcom, except. Um, she doesn't show those kanji letters like like she does in Tatsunoko. And yeah, the function of the of the Infinity Stones is way different from Marvel vs. Uh, or rather Marvel superheroes. In fact, Marvel superheroes is where the Infinity Gems um, were first used. And yeah, I had to pause the game because I really don't know some of the characters' moves, particularly Captain Marvel's. And yeah, the um, the gems in this game um, they're used much differently. Now the time gem in this um, in this game is actually if using if using L one, you can actually dash um, forward uh, li like so right there. And yeah, I, I took down another Ultron drone. Ready for round three? Different streets, same fight. Heroes of both dimensions, welcome to ours. The Prince of Asgard has come home. Go, show him what we've made of you. one so small and you Thor are indeed mighty for a heathen god what's this fresh fodder no stay your lunch my people what has become of them Thor No need to panic, big guy. They're just taking a nap. They'll be fine. Eventually. Stark? Spencer? Nice weapon, Lance, a little. Compensating for something? Only your foolishness, Iron Man. Ha <laughs> ha! I like him! So yeah, the the Infinity Stones they function much differently than they were in Marvel superheroes. In fact, um, the Time Stone, which is green for whatever reason, I always thought of it as red, is actually more of a um, dash to the other side um, type of stone. Ready. 
So yeah, in this um, next match, I'm controlling Thor, as well as Arthur from Ghost and Goblins. Kind of strange why they brought him back. And I will admit, folks, um, some of the combos that I that I unleash here, yeah, a lot of these combos I actually know how to, um, or rather, I executed um, them by accident. And the strange part about this is that it's not, it's a rather, how should I say this, for some reason it's set on easy mode, the kind of the kind of which all you just have to do is just is just press specific buttons um, just to execute a combo and just like that it just ended the ma ma match again. Oh Dante, cocky as ever. For you, Rocket, anything. Be good. Ebony, Ivory, care to dance? So yeah, in this next match, I am controlling both Dante from Devil May Cry and Rocket Raccoon from Guardians of the Galaxy. And yeah, Rocket Raccoon's um, personality, you gotta love him. He's always been cocky, just like he is in the movies. And yeah, Rocket Raccoon, as always, he's packing heat. And this time, um, these two characters, they're holding the Power Stone. And and yeah, I'm, I'm talking about the Power Stone um, Marvel Universe. Not the Capcom fighting game of, this, of the same name. And yeah, I hope to review that soon, if I have the time. But yeah, I just took out one Ultron drone. And... And yeah, Dante, just like he says just now, keeping it stylish. Oh yeah, Rocket Raccoon also packing that Gatling gun. Yeah, stylish. Damn, these things are like cockroaches. I have cared to come into Redfield. These were once my people. Even now they fight well. This was my home too, Thor. Ultron Sigma is going to pay for what he's done. So in this next match, I am playing as Thor and X. Although I'm mostly playing as X in this match because I actually wanted to learn um, some of X's moves and how to summon that um, that armor of his from his games. Although, while I never actually summoned the armor even once in this demo, I did remember seeing a video of Maximilian Dude actually um, actually summoning the armor, which is called Armor of Light in this game, and that kind of makes sense considering that if you actually follow the Mega Man X games, um, you do see some of the um, some of the capsules in hidden areas to get um, armor pieces for X, and then in later games you also get like um, like armor upgrades for Zero. Um, yeah, and, I, and, and I'm actually trying, and yeah, as you see here, I'm, I paused the game, trying to learn some of the moves, and not once have I ever even used a level 3 hyper combo. And yeah, for whatever reason, um, the hyper combo, um, in, the hy hyper combo, um, ca cap is actually at level 4, instead of, um, instead of level 5, like the last game. Which is kind of strange, but yeah. Courage, my friend. I swear I will release you from Ultron Sigma's grasp, or die trying. Where's Doctor Strange? Captain? <sighs> Doctor, can you get us in? The Convergence has left Asgard's magic weakened. We can breach the prison's walls from here. Good. Commander Redfield, 
Chris, you ready? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. This prisoner better have the answers we need. He will. He has to. Or this is the end. Doctor? Do you feel it? This psychic maelstrom of torment and despair. Yeah, it sucks. Every prison's the same. Yeah, done a lot of hard time, huh? No, but I've put a lot of punks like you away. <laughs> huh? Halt! So yeah, I'm in this prison area that um, that Doctor Strange um, transported some of the heroes to. They're trying to break somebody out. And in this fight, I am playing as Chris Redfield from Resident Evil. As well as, well, Rocket Raccoon once again from Guardians of the Galaxy. And in this fight, um, I'm also, I was once again testing out the gem. Albeit the gem that I'm using in this fight um, is the time gem. And yeah, that's the thing about the gems of this game. Um, it's not like uh, it's not like Marvel superheroes where you can, where you start off with a power gem and you get more gems from each opponent um, um, during the game. No, it's it's much different. In fact, um, I think in this game, you're whenever you select a character, you're you can choose um, which gem to use in battle. However, in story mode, I think you get like a random um, uh, gem each time. Well, no pun intended, because I am using a time gem right now. And yeah, I'm using the time gem um, dash again. And in this fight, I'm, um, because I have um, enough gauge for it, that's when I had um, Rocket actually activate the Infinity Storm off the, um, off the gem. And it's activated by actually pressing both the attack button and the, um, and the gem technique um, button at the same time. And yeah, I just ended the match um, like that, so um, yeah. But anyway, continuing the plot, they're trying to break somebody out. Huh? Oh no. Nah, bad idea. Rocket, what is it? Seriously? You know who this is, right? Doc, back me up here! Commander. We got a job to do. So yeah, they're breaking somebody out of out of this um, prison and Well, wait a minute. Hey, that's them. Thanos. So yeah, this is actually kind of strange. I mean, I know during the um E3 show they did say um, Thanos will be playable alongside Zero, and thank, thank goodness Zero is playable because, well, Zero is one of my um, top tier characters that I love playing in in Tatsunoko vs. Capcom, and it, and he's just as awesome as he is in um in Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, um and yeah, that's beside the point, um yeah, in this cutscene, well, back in the surface, um. The other heroes, they're trying to take on the the fusion um, boss, um, Ultron Sigma, and of course Ultron, one of the um, one of the enemies of the Avengers, and Sigma, um, one of the main antagonists of um, of the Mega Man X series. And yeah, this fusion, they're they're getting their butts kicked. Oh, X is about to take them Nova Strike. Oh, oh, uh, never mind. Yeah. Even he got his butt kicked as well.
You still dare challenge us, Prince of Asgard? You shall pay for what you've done to my people! Spencer, with me! So yeah, the final match for this demo, I am playing as Thor. Only this time with Spencer from Bionic Commando. And, um... It's the Spencer from the remake of Bionic Commando, which is not that great, to be honest. Um, but, yeah. And, just like in Marvel vs. Capcom 3, I'm not good with Spencer, and I sure as heck won't be good on this one. And, yeah, I'm, what it, what's going to happen here is that I'm playing a scripted battle against um, Ultron Sigma, in which, um, well, I have no choice but to actually lose this, this battle. Sure, I can beat the, down the um, the corrupted um, Asgardian all I wanted to, but um, but it's not going to make a difference because Ultron Sigma it um, has um, well he actually has two gems on him. He's actually using the the gem of space and reality. And yeah, I switched to Spencer. And yeah, um, the the yeah the space gem is um, quite different from Marvel superheroes because in Marvel superheroes the space gem which is purple in that game although although it's blue on this one the in the original space gem um, is actually super armor which increases um, the defensive strength of your of your character however in this game if in infinity storm mode I don't know how it is in in normal um, gem attack mode um, the infinity storm um, space gem uh, it actually creates a space um, that isolates um, my um, my characters, as you saw earlier, and now um, Ultron Sigma he switches to Reality Gem, and in normal gem mode, um, just like um, just like in the original, it does um, summon um, a projectile, which which um, does work the way it, the way it did in the original um, Marvel game, and um, yeah, I I just activated the um, the Infinity Storm of the Power Gem, which um, I believe it does increase the attack power um, during during the duration of the gauge, but um. But that still didn't make a difference because I hardly make a dent on Ultron Sigma. And yeah, Ultron Sigma, he does have teleportation powers. Which I think in the Avengers movies, I think he does as well. I don't remember. It's been so long since I, since I saw um, Age of Ultron. But, um, but I could be wrong. And yeah, I'm definitely getting my butt kicked here. I mean, again, scripted. I have no choice. I activated the Infinity Storm again. Um, did a hyper combo, but yeah, that's it. And yeah, that's it for the demo. That's the last fight for this demo, folks. They have achieved perfection, and soon you shall be their prince once more. Commander Redfield, did you have something to add? Some great insight. You're going down, Ultron Sigma. That's it. Some banal cliché. It's fitting that those would be your final words. Hmm. Doctor, get us out of here! With pleasure, Captain. <laughs> Good. And yeah, that's it for the demo. Um, what follows after that cutscene is that um, it's asking if you want to pre-order now, which I'll be honest, I am not too sure if I want to. I mean, I mean, it's cool to see um, regular Sigma be um, be a DLC character, which is kind of strange though because a regular Ultron is actually a um, an available character to play in this game, but not regular Sigma. That's kind of weird. But they also show like um like costumes that you can download like um 
like um, how X appears in the RPG Mega Man X Command Mission, which is a good game, by the way, um, going off topic slightly. Um, I don't care what anyone says, I actually liked it. But yeah, uh, my overall thoughts on this game, it's, it's not that bad, but um, it's kind of like a mix between um, the gameplay style of Marvel vs. Capcom 2 with some mix of 3, but I uh, will just wait to see what the final product um, is going to be like. But, um, but honestly, I am more curious of the story more so than than the gameplay itself. I mean, I actually have more fun um, with um, with the original Marvel 2 and Marvel 3's um, fighting engine. Heck, you could say I also like... Um, well, to some extent, I kind of like Tatsunoko's fighting engine, but but I prefer um, 3's um, over Tatsunoko, if only because it's a much improved version. But anyway, um, that's it for this episode of Trials. I hope you like what you see. Um, if you like, if you feel like um, pre-ordering the game, well, more power to you. But um, yeah, um, this has been Trials with Musashi X. Um, hope you like what you see. Um, I bid you all farewell. Take care and stay tuned for future videos, folks.